Hello everybody, this is Fadi again. In this tutorial, we are going to create rooms in this small house. And uh, this house we have created previously in previous video. And if you want to see how we have created this house, you can uh, follow the description. I will leave the link of these videos for part one and part two for this house in the description. Uh, without further addition, this dive into rivet and see how we can create rooms in uh, this floor plan but we before we getting started i would like to ask you to subscribe and the, like the videos in this channel in order to uh, see more videos in the future such as these so how we can create rooms for this small house in order to create rooms first of all you have to go to the architectural tab you can see here something that is related to room areas and room separator and tag room i would like uh, firstly and basically to use this icon which is room and you can uh, reach for this by clicking uh, rm which is the uh, let's say the abbreviation of this uh, uh, order so i would like to now to click on room and as you see i have this icon that give me uh, that uh, the room here with the boundaries uh, that can be done so you can see that here that the tag on placement and we have also the opportunity to place rooms automatically but let's do that manually and see how we can uh, fix that about the rooms so you can now click and as you see i have this room because there is enclosure by walls here and also i have uh, this bathroom and also uh, let's say that we have living room and kitchen here but as you see uh, we have a problem here that the rivet defines the, all the area because there is no enclosure that uh, define the living room and the kitchen so let's say let's see how we can fix that so i would like now to put this one as you see i have room and here we have tags uh, of the number maybe uh, but maybe because i have created uh, some rooms uh, in this project previously in order to show you that so it takes the uh, most recent so you can fix that by giving one for example and here maybe you can give two and three for the text this is a tag and you can fix that if you don't want this to be uh, like that you can go to edit family and for that tag you can see that we have now the number maybe you can delete that and the volume also the area and load that in the project in order to have just the room name maybe okay but as you see here now we have to fix that for example we can give uh, the names of our rooms such as bedroom for this and bathroom here and maybe we can give a living room here yes but also we have this problem here that uh, we need to have a separate uh, room for the section for the kitchen uh, sorry so how we can fix that i will go now to architecture and as you see here we have a room separator i will use this in order to maybe separate this area like that and as you see when i separate this you can see that the room is like that and also here we have maybe an entry we can do the same thing for that i will go to room separator maybe we can separate something like that for the entry and from here to here in order to have also this corridor so as you see once i make these separators you can see that i have a living room that is separated now you can go to architecture room and add also a room here for the kitchen maybe yes and also here for the entry or the entrance 
and also one here for the corridor so as you see uh, we have now also to change this to kitchen maybe we can change that to entry also but as you see uh, we have also an annoying of names also so instead of that I will use now uh, maybe something like colors in order to uh, visualize or represent my uh, plan in a good way so how we can do that I will now go to annotate and as you see here we have a color fill the third one is a color fill legend so I will use it now in order to make colors for these rooms instead of these annoying uh, let's say text that will be maybe conflict with the furniture here so I will use now this one which is no color scheme I will put it here so once I put it here you can see that I have this window so instead of a space type I will spaces I will use room and for the color scheme I will, will use the name because I have the names of these rooms once I click OK you can see that I have this legend of the rooms that uh, give me the bathroom bedroom entry kitchen the living room and the room which is the corridor here so maybe we can change this one to corridor or distributor or anything you want as you see we have this corridor and now if you are not interested in this maybe these colors you can simply click on them and here we have edit scheme you can came here for example and change the color as you want for example for the bathroom if you are not interested in this color maybe you can use also a white one with the hatch such as maybe let's say something like anything oscillation bridger and once I click OK you can see that the bathroom have this uh, color now we don't have uh, the uh, now we don't have the uh, need for these tags so I can now came here and click to let's say delete them by clicking on delete but make sure to maybe I have to to click on the tag here so as you see I have this uh, scheme of colors and room legend and also maybe something uh, need to be fixed for example for the living room we can give uh, maybe a yellow color maybe for uh, kitchen we can give a green color maybe for the entry we can give also a red color so you have the opportunity now to change the color as much as you want for the bedroom maybe we can give a yellow color anything once you hit ok you can get this uh, scheme or this uh, color so you can now play with that as you want so after that after you have done with that maybe you are not interested of this uh, separator so you can simply hide these elements in the view as you want in order to have this maybe just the colors as you want so this is the way that we have uh, how we can create rooms in uh, Revit now let's say that we want to add a schedule for these rooms maybe you want to uh, these schedules of uh, areas or perimeters or uh, maybe the finishing of these rooms so you have the opportunity to do that in Revit how we can do that uh, you can go now to schedules and add a new schedule like that and now you have can scroll down and uh, try to find the room schedule so 
for R there is a room schedule schedule building component I will press OK and you will get this once you get this he is uh, asking you about the parameters you want to include in your uh, schedule so I, I I prefer to have the name maybe maybe the area let's search for the area and also maybe for the finishes or the perimeter let's say the perimeter maybe you can add anything such as the volume of the of this uh, of these rooms wall finishes anything you want but for this tutorial I will have name area and parameter so once I click OK rooms the bedroom bathroom living room kitchen entry and corridor and as you see here I have the areas but maybe this is not the precious area so how we can fix that maybe the area of the room this means that money so I will go to the ground floor I will press you and now and for the area here you can now uh, use the rounding here instead of zero to two or three let's say, say two and now you can go to room schedule and as you see instead of 14 I have 13.92 millimeter square and also for the perimeter I have these areas so this is the way that how you can create rooms in Revit and how you can create the schedules of rooms in Revit I wish that you are interested in this tutorial if you are uh, interested like share and subscribe the channel for more videos such as these in the future and also if you want to follow the how we can create this uh, floor plan you can follow up the description I will leave the links of how we created this single house in Revit please leave a comment if you have any suggestions or anything that you want to show or to learn in Revit and I will also reply to these comments and have a nice day